What was insanely hyped up only to flop horribly? The movie adaptation of Christopher Paulini's Aragon. Ugh. This one hurt me. I was super excited to see it after reading the book. I remember the intense disappointment about 20 to 30 minutes into the movie. I wanted to walk out at that point, but I was with a friend who hadn't read the book, so it wasn't as horrible to her. I went for my birthday party with my friends. I was over the moon that we would get to see it on my birthday. I left furious. I was only a kid, but I was going on and on about how horrible it was, all the inaccuracies, how could they leave out vital characters etc. Probably the biggest movie disappointment for me in my life, and no I haven't seen the Avatar movie, and I intend never to see it. The movie so bad it killed VHS. No seriously, it was the last movie ever released on VHS. Edit, after further research, A History of Violence was the last wide distribution of a major release. Aragon released about a year later, and was a small limited run, but was still the last major movie released on VHS, although Cars also got a small release as a Disney exclusive thing. Evolve. So much hype behind it only for the player base to die in a month. I was so hyped for that game too, but it did seem like it was gonna fail. There just wasn't enough stuff in the game, and a lot of it was a bunch of just walking around and doing nothing. Yay! One I can answer, Geraldo Rivera's live television special opening El Capone's Vault. I was a junior in high school in 1986, and remember well how crazily hyped this special was. It was nuts Geraldo had a medical examiner on set in case bodies were found, and IRS agents were there in case anything valuable was discovered. I remember well when the vault was finally opened and it was basically empty. I'll never forget Geraldo's dazed yet disappointed face when he realized he'd have to vamp, talking about nothing until the end of the show. It was awesome. Google Plus. People only have it because Google made on for you and forced you to have it. I feel like one of the single biggest reasons why I hate Google Plus was because I hate the idea of having my real name plastered over the internet. And Google Plus kept trying to force a different YouTube account onto me which had my name plastered right there. I remember when Spore was about to come out, people thought it was going to change gaming forever. People thought it was this incredibly deep world building game. Like, I remember the news covering it. In the end it was pretty decent, but not really anything amazing. Edit, a lot of people are saying they were exposed to Spore with little to no knowledge of it, and have very fond experiences of it. For those who don't know, it was supposed to be this rich, expansive experience that would allow the player to control every aspect of the race's evolution. It was supposed to be more of a linear progression and ended up being kind of a step progress through evolution with four to five minigames instead of a cohesive story. Pokemon Go Fest 2017. This year's apparently went pretty smoothly, but last year's was a disaster. 20,000 people were crammed into a park and choked the cell phone networks so basically nobody could do exactly what they came there to do, play Pokemon Go. Many people from Niantic got up on stage and were booed and greeted by chance of we can't play. It was a disaster. This year they go in contact with cell tower providers extremely early and had things set in place to not have a repeat. They also did not do any video live stream because 2017 was a nightmare, as you said. People throwing things at people on stage and at YouTubers. They also extended the in-game benefits to cover into downtown Chicago, rather than just Lincoln Park, to mitigate a lot of issues. But yeah, 2017 was a hot mess. Radioactive glazing on dinnerware. Yeah, turns out glowing dinnerware is less cool than cancer. The Last Airbender Movie. I went and saw it even after seeing its 15% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Big mistake. I went opening day with some friends who are also huge fans of the show, and when the movie was over we just kind of left and never spoke about it again. For a week before the premiere, a friend of mine shaved his hair bald except for the ing arrow. It looked sick to all us high schoolers. 
Right after the movie came out he made it into a mohawk and convinced everyone not to spend money on that movie barf.